As many of us know, this dry heat makes our tree heavy foothills a tinderbox. It only takes a spark to start a wildfire. Now in Evergreen, the fire district is asking you to do something never done before. Hire full time firefighters. Your reporter in Jefferson County, Andrew Hobner, is live in Evergreen tonight for us. So, Andrew, why is the fire district adding full time firefighters now? As mountain populations grow, especially here in the front range, it's required a little bit more manpower, especially in an unincorporated community like Evergreen. So much so that they're pivoting not just from a full volunteer force, they want to add six full time positions to try and decrease response times and keep people safe within the community. Evergreen is growing every year, according to longtime residents. How much bigger has it gotten in those 30 years? too big. <laughs> it used to be one stoplight. And those like Kate Wellington know that beefing up services like fire and EMTs are essential. And there's just so many tourists that come up as well. And so Bear Creek, all the roads around here are a little dicey. The unincorporated community in Jefferson County has been primarily staffed by volunteers for decades, but now that's slated to change. We've proven that we're a progressive fire department, that we are responsible with our taxpayers money that they are making an investment in us and we want to return that investment to our taxpayers. But Einar Jensen says it doesn't mean volunteering is being done away with. The missing component is getting our apparatus on the road as quickly as we can get our volunteers on the road. And by having firefighters at the station 24 seven, that will help get those apparatus on the road, at least for the first out call. Instead, he says it's to decrease response times. Typically, volunteers have to go from where they are to the station to get a vehicle and then head to the scene. With six full-time firefighters, they can leave directly from the station, something that Wellington says might be helpful. They're, they're overworked and understaffed. And Jensen says is proactive and preventative for the citizens of Evergreen. Instead of waiting for that one big bad day to occur, we're being more progressive. Now, there is concern among some in the community here that this would spell the end of volunteer work, but it's actually not the case, Jensen tells us. It's actually they want more volunteers. They're trying to get more volunteers to be able to respond to these situations immediately. It just is a hopeful scenario to try and get those full time firefighters to get the engines out a little bit sooner. In Evergreen, I'm Andrew Hobner covering Colorado first. More the better. All right, Andrew, thank you.